Hi guys, welcome to the building WebGIS applications with ASP.NET Core MVC and Leaflet course. In this course, we will be building a full stack MVC style web application using the .NET Core framework. So the purpose of the application is to monitor the monthly consumption of water in kiloliters by each neighborhood in the Cape Town region. We will monitor the consumption using a Coropleth map and a bar chart. So the Coropleth map is a collection of polygons and each polygon spans a neighborhood and each neighborhood consists of a suburb group. So the different colors of the polygons will help us distinguish between the neighborhoods that consume the most amount of water to the neighborhoods that consume the least amount of water for that particular month. So the polygons are styled using eight grades of green. So the darker the shade of green, the higher the water consumption value. And the lighter the shade of green, the lower the water consumption value is for that suburb group. We also want to expand our analysis and identify the top 10 suburbs that consume the most amount of water and for that we use a bar chart and as you can see the color of each bar matches the color of the polygon for that region which makes it easy for us to identify so this application has quite a lot of features for instance we have a live rest api running in the background that is feeding our spatial data that we are using to display on the map we also have a PostgreSQL database with PostGIS extensions added for storing and manipulating our spatial data. Our table is also in the form of an ORM, which stands for Object Relational Mapper, which uses Entity Framework Core to help us to build model classes and data contexts. We also have multiple base maps that we can switch through depending on our preference for viewing the data. We have built the application using the latest .NET Core SDK and ASP.NET Core libraries, so it should be future-proof for a while. We also have a pop-up that displays information on each polygon when we hover over it, and we have a legend control to describe the data that is being displayed on the map. I hope you guys will get a lot from the course, especially if you are seeking to develop full stack geospatial web applications with the C Sharp and the .NET Core framework, then this is the course for you. Thank you.